Hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today I'm going to quickly show you how we maintain our laser engraver. Uh, my wife has been extremely busy and uh, we only did this a couple days ago, but we're starting to notice that the cuts aren't as great as they used to be. So, first off, open this up here. This is our 80 watt CO2 laser that you've probably seen in our other videos. We have to take out the rotary. There. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn this on. Okay, I'm going to move the laser a little bit closer to me. What I want to do is grab some painter's tape. So I'm going to make sure the laser is still aligned right now. So I take this painter's tape and I'm going to put it over the third mirror. If you want to come over here, we'll see what that looks like. So you got this hole in the third mirror right there. And I'm going to put this over top. Just like that. Okay. Next what I want to do is move the head all the way over to the left. I'm going to turn on my laser, make sure everything else is on. I don't need my air on, but I do need my water chiller on. I'm going to turn my exhaust fan on. It won't really do much, but best practice to have that on. And I'm going to simply hit the pulse button. So it burns a little hole in the tape. Move my laser to the next end. There it goes, I have that hole. And there you go. So hit it again and it burnt in the exact same spot. So I know my laser is aligned, so that's not the reason that we're having some issues with the laser right now. So that is, if you're ever aligning your lasers, that is exactly what you want to see right there. So that means I'm done that part. Um, if those two holes were in different locations, what I would do is I'd open up the left side here and there is a mirror over there that looks very much like this mirror where it has three screws at the top. And I basically just turn those screws until the, the second laser, like as, as soon as the mirror's over here, I turn those until the, the laser hits the spot it did when it was on the left. So um, we will show a video of that one time the next time it goes out of alignment. So the next thing I want to do is clean the lens. That is usually the culprit um, when you're not cutting as well. So what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to take a pencil and mark where my laser head is just so I know where to reposition it. I put it back in. Then I'm going to unscrew this guy here. So this drops this piece. I'm going to unscrew the little red dot laser head and then push down on this little blue piece make the air hose come out the whole thing will drop down so now one thing I want to do here is grab a little bit of paper towel and let's see oh there we go I have a little bit of Windex here I'm just gonna spray that down in the outside of this shouldn't make much of a difference but it's nice to have it clean and then I'm going to just turn these things sideways here, which allows me to untwist. Oh, there we go. Untwist that piece. Quickly clean the inside here. Yeah, and this shouldn't really matter. I just like to make it nice and clean. You can see there's a a whole bunch of char there from when we're burning wood for the most part. And then on this side, I have my lens. So I'm going to quickly clean my lens. Uh, and you can get a specific tool to undo this little washer here that locks it in place. I just use a little flathead screwdriver. Just going to unscrew that. And if you have received your laser from the factory, you will likely not have uh, this other little white washer in there. 
Um, so that is something I do recommend you purchase because if you ever get a little bit of a wobble in your burns, that will stop it, putting that washer in. So I'll take this out. The lens actually doesn't look that bad right now, um, but I'll clean it anyways. So I have some lens cleaner here. I got this off Amazon and I'm just gonna spray both sides, put the lens down there. Now this lens cleaner is meant for cameras, uh, camera lenses, as well as tablets and phones. So it works just great for this. You can also use rubbing alcohol and I would uh, recommend you get a higher percentage of rubbing alcohol. So I'm drawing that lens off. Now one thing with the lens, and you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera, but one of the sides is concave and that's this side here. All right, so that's the side where you want the laser to hit. So if you're ever replacing your lens, um, make sure that's what you have. And so, because I know that this piece goes back up, so the laser comes back through the hole, I'm gonna put the lens in, just like this. And I also, after I clean the lens, I don't wanna to touch it with my hands because I have oils on my hands and uh, it may affect the laser hits it. I'm going to put this washer back in. And usually, the, uh, the little washers you get, they're a little bit larger, or they seem a little bit larger than what they're supposed to be. Uh, but I find if you kind of tap them down with a flathead screwdriver, it will eventually touch all sides, and it works out just So if you want to see, that's what it should look like at that point. And then the trickiest part I find is putting this guy back in. It usually does not go on straight. It might take a couple tries. There we go. Tighten that right down. Yeah, make it nice and snug, but not too tight. If you make it too tight, you may crack the lens when you start burning. Uh, and then I just simply put this back in here. There we go. I know it should be just as tight so that uh, these are on opposite sides. Turn my air hose back up. And uh, this guy I can adjust when it goes back on. All right, so let's go back over to the laser. And I'm gonna put this up here. Right about up to the pencil mark that I made, which is, again, probably kind of hard to see on the camera there. But I'm gonna tighten this pretty snug so it never moves. And this air hose goes right into this hole here. And then the laser, of course this is just the red laser, that shows me where, uh, where I'm going to be hitting. There we go, let's tighten that there. And then when we're actually working, we can again move this into the appropriate place. So, the, uh, the next thing I do is I take some needle nose pliers and I tighten the mirrors. And so if you're ever engraving something and you find all the lines are very jaggedy, this is one thing you can do. It, it likely means your mirrors are loose. Um, so as things are moving, either you know either on the X or the Y, uh, the mirrors are, are moving, and then that's why you get that little tooth mark on your straight line. So on the back of your mirrors, you're going to see there's two little holes. And again, you can get a special tool that will allow you to uh, tighten this. But I take a needle nose plier, I stick it in both the holes. I just give it a little bit of a twist. Mine is very tight, so I don't need to do anything with that one there. Um, now I also typically go on the other side, so I'm gonna just take my exhaust off. It seems like my exhaust is broken. I'm just gonna turn it off for now. Open up the side compartment. Actually, I'm turn off my, there you go, turn off my chiller as well. 
You're not going to be able to see this, I don't think, but uh, I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm just going to move that uh, it this way. There we go. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And as I previously mentioned, those are the three screws you're going to want to uh, adjust when you're um, you know, when we were testing the laser earlier, if it's out. All right, so that's perfect. I didn't have to move that at all. So far, everything actually looks pretty good. And that's probably because we just did this a couple days ago. There you go, so put that back on. The last thing I'm gonna do is clean the lenses. Or sorry, the, uh, the other mirrors on the laser. So I take the same lens cleaner, I take a Q-tip, I just spray this a few times. I'll do it over here so I don't mess up our table. There we go. Um, so the first mirror I clean is this mirror right here. So it's the middle, the second mirror. And I simply just go over it. Now let me turn on the lights so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. And so I really just clean it off like this. Make it nice and clean. I'm going to take my little microfiber towel here and clean that off. There you go. And so it should be, you should not see any spots on there. If you do see any spots, uh, that could be a problem. And the last mirror I'm going to clean, uh, I typically don't clean the first mirror, which you can see way down at the end there. Uh, it usually stays pretty clean, so I, uh, that's not what I, I typically do. But I do the one right inside of here. And again, I'm not really sure if that one does look dirty or not, but it very well could be. I'm just going to put a little bit more lens cleaner on my Q tip and I'm stick it in there. And I'm just going to wipe it around. And so that one, yeah, my Q tip is getting a little bit brown on this one. So that was likely one of the issues we we're having. Let's take my microfiber cloth in, give it a little bit of a wipe, as much as I can. And then I'm going to grab a fresh Q-tip and dry it off the rest of the way. And again, yeah, that Q-tip's even itself is getting a little dirty, so it was obviously not perfect. Okay. I think that should probably do it. All right, so that's everything that we're really doing on our maintenance today. Uh, there are other times we do even larger maintenance. Uh, I have had to replace the laser tube, and if you know, next time we do that, we'll record another video. That means realigning all the mirrors. It takes me a very long time. Um, but yeah, the, the other thing you might want to do after you do this is you know bring up your bed and run a ramp test. Um, and that's if, you know, just to make sure you have the right focal point. Now, we use this little nine millimeter piece of wood right here because we know that nine millimeters gives us the perfect focal point when we're laser engraving. Um, but we will record another video at some point in time to show you what a wrap test is. And basically all it is is you put a, a piece of wood on an angle, you run a laser mark, and then you try to find out at which point the laser mark is the finest. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks.